Hello and welcome to today's video. If you're new here, welcome and if you've been here before, I'm glad you're back. In today's video, I'm doing my client's nails again and they're gonna be so cute. I love, I already know how they came out because I'm doing this intro afterwards, but they're just adorable and she loved them so much. She has no idea in the beginning what I'm gonna do. Uh, she came in with an open mind and she was like, well, I want something autumn, maybe winter, maybe, you know, so she wasn't necessarily sure of what she wanted, but I knew she likes pink, I knew she likes glitter, and I knew she likes cute. <laughs> so I ended up com combining everything into one set and I, you already know probably how they look because again, you've seen them, but Oh my god, they're adorable. I love them so much. And uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go through the whole prep work again. I'm just gonna show you removing them because I find that really satisfying to watch. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of that and then I'm gonna show you how much we actually cut off her nails because they're so long, they're her natural nails and she just couldn't deal with them anymore. Last time she actually left the length just because of me and because I wanted to do like Halloween designs on them so yeah anyway uh, I really hope you're gonna enjoy today's video if you do give it a thumbs up leave a comment down below tell me how I did and if you wanna see more of my videos make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on so then you know when I post um, anyway with all of that said let's do some nails so I decided to show you guys again the removal process because to be honest I find it very very satisfying. I, If you want to know what I'm using for the removal and the prep and everything I have a video uh, on the nails that she's wearing right now so it's like Halloween watch me work uh, which is a few videos back but otherwise I am just going to show you how to like how I remove them again because oh my god look at that satisfaction also you're not gonna see me working a lot on the thumbnail on this hand that I'm working on now um, because uh, that was a casualty she actually broke it a couple of days before so we were both sad about it we cried a little bit but then we decided there's nothing we can do about it she doesn't want any hard gel or uh, acrylic or anything so we're just gonna let it grow because her nails grow amazingly and by the way uh, she's an actual hero because she let me last time keep the length and then here you see the tragedy we had to cut them down because they were way too long for her right now um, so I'm showing you how I quickly just chopped them off it was so sad it was such a sad day for me to cut these because they were so amazing but yeah you see me showing you this thumb but I'm not showing the other thumb because again the other thumb was you know anyway shape them that's how they looked uh, then I'm gonna go in with that Vetsy 006 diamond gel and then from Kirsty Meekin I'm going in with cotton candy Ruth summer and come on Kurt um, and swanky okay all right so I already prepped these nails I filed them into a shape as you can see I've um, applied a base coat also I, I need to keep that in mind and then I'm gonna go in with that glitter all over the nails except for the pointer finger and I also applied this glitter on the thumbs again I'm not gonna show you how I applied the glitter on the thumb because it's the same thing I'm applying glitter to nail it's it's nothing too well it's it's magical but it's not 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 something that you'd like to see um, anyway again I'm going back in with the second coat I am curing obviously the coats in between for 30 seconds and I put all of those uh, gel polishes that I said earlier in on the on a palette and then I'm gonna go in with this brush from Ink London and then the, de the middle, middle detailer which I'm using right here from uh, Glitter Bells and then they have like this pointy thicker brush uh, as well in their I think gel uh, brush collections and I started with that cotton candy and I am just going on the side of this nail and just creating this thing, whatever this is. 
um, and I'll cure the first layer and because it's a pink and it has quite a dark glitter underneath I'm going with the second coat just to avoid any shadowing or anything just because again it's a pink and the pinks are quite hard to get properly pigmented especially over a darker color um, then I'm starting to create my plaid kind of thing plaid yeah I would say plaid um, and I am just gonna go in between the colors and I'm gonna make thicker lines uh, and thinner lines I'm not actually following anything I'm just kind of doing whatever I feel like doing um, also very important when you're doing plaid try to make the lines even and straight as much as you can uh, if you don't make them even then it's gonna show uh, quite obviously it's gonna be very very obvious uh, but if you do them even and straight ish then it doesn't matter if the lines are actually straight on the sides or something like that then here I moved on to the other nail to show you this pink because I completely forgot to press record when I've done the other one but we're gonna go back to the other one just so we have like a you know <laughs> just for it to look better so yeah I went back to the other hand <laughs> when I've done the next color I just completely forgot to press record I don't know what's wrong what was wrong with me I, we were talking we were having fun I always have fun with this client and um, yeah things get out of my mind when they shouldn't <laughs> um, you can obviously create this design with any color palette I just she came in and she had no idea what she wanted and all I know, well, not all I know, I know more, but uh, the most important things that I know about her is the fact that she likes nudes, she likes pinks and she likes glitter. Anything sparkly, anything, uh, you know, cute and yeah, she loves it. So um, that's why I went with like a pink uh, kind of plaid. And I added the gray and the nude there just to like break out that color a bit, just to not be just too pink. And then here I'm adding some lines of white over the whole thing, uh, just to create a bit more of like different texture and to break down a little bit the colors, you know, especially where there was pink on top of pink. Um, I just wanted to emphasize the fact that there are two colors there, just not just one. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm bringing that white in. It's it's re really really great because it adds a lot of detail on it. And um, again, it doesn't have to be perfect. As you you see right now, it's it's not perfect at all. But it's cute at the end, in my opinion, anyway. Uh, then I'm gonna go in on the middle finger and that's it with a glossy top coat. So I'm using the Kirsty Meekin top coat here. And I will cure this for 60 seconds. Then I'm gonna use this uh, No Wipe gel paint from Ink London. And because it's very, very thick and it's gonna give me the texture that I want. So I am going to bring this in and create a little bit of a bow, kind of. Um, it might be a bit out of focus and I am very sorry about that. I was very, very um, concentrated <laughs> on this bow and uh, also concentrated for her to not see it because she always looks even though I tell her not to. Yes, you do. I know she's gonna watch this. <laughs> so yeah, I was concentrated to not let her look because uh, I knew she's gonna love this <laughs> so much. So I wanted to like finish it first. Um, so I'm just creating two big uh, shapes, two big triangles with like a dot in the middle and then I'm adding some ribbon on the sides. I cured that and now I'm adding some of that texture that I was saying because this gel paint is perfect for any kind of texture because it just stays put it doesn't self-level at all to be honest um, so I'm adding some of that texture for on the ribbon on the sides as well um, I'm adding it everywhere so just yeah I absolutely love how this nail turned up and she adored it like honestly I did not expect this from her like that um, reaction from her <laughs> then i'm going in with uh, glass slippers from glitter bells 
which is their clear acrylic powder and I'm gonna apply a layer of that uh, shiny top coat and I'm just gonna sprinkle this acrylic over the top of that without curing so I'm, I didn't cure that shiny top coat I am just applying that clear acrylic on the top of it and I'm putting that in the lamp and then I'm gonna brush it off and there was a bit of texture here that I didn't like but I buff it off a little bit and it's gonna be fine at the end I don't know what happened why because it doesn't usually leave this texture but I didn't want to file the whole thing off and redo it because I mean Christ to redo the whole uh, tartan should have stayed there another hour and there was no point <laughs> So uh, yeah, I just buffed it off and it looked fine by the end. And now I'm doing the same thing over the tartan part, just because it looks like a fluffy blanket in my opinion. Like with that uh, acrylic, it just softens everything. And just, yeah, I, I thought it created a like a blanket kind of um, look to it. Here, again, I'm a bit out of focus. I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at this. Um, like I'm normally bad but because I was trying to like do a client's nails and to film it was even worse uh, but here I'm creating this like I can't even say what shape that is she kind of looked at it and she was very confused uh, <laughs> which was really awesome and after I've applied that I used swanky to uh, create that I Put a layer of top coat, of shiny top coat, and then I'm going back in here with that um, white gel paint, and I'm creating these little details, and I'm going in between the, the brushes. So here I'm using the detailer brush, and then I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna use the bigger brush just to drag it out to, to make a bit of uh, texture for the beard. She kept on looking at me, she was like, oh, is this a hat? Is this just a hat? Am I getting a cute Christmassy hat? <laughs> it was so funny. Um, so yeah, I'm just creating the that uh, beard kind of texture. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, just, you know, just saying I am going in, make sure to go in uh, to the end of the nail and then cleaning the, the skin because I made a mess on the skin there. And now I'm just like sprinkling some of that clear acrylic again over the top of this to make it nice and like textured. Uh, so I didn't cure the um, the little, you know, pom-pom on, on the top or the beard before I sprinkled that acrylic. Then after that is cured and I removed all the excess, I am going in with, the, I think it's Kurt. And I am just adding a nose, just a, you know, like a little oval. And then I'm going in with some top coat to protect that properly. And just going very, very gently around that nose. And then I'm applying a layer of top coat on that pinky. And then I've done the thumbs and then this whole thing is done. Um, and give everything a full cure. And I'm absolutely in love with this set. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope, you know, you're going to try to recreate this.